Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, we're installing Mac OS X 10.6.3, the S2 version or the V2 version, yeah, the the S3 V2 version on an e-machine E520. Okay, I did it this morning, and I did it on the same machine that we're now uh, running on. Uh, although what you see on the background is not um, OS X86, is not the iAdcos S3, but it runs fine this morning, and I'm gonna tell you what settings you should take to let this thing work. First of all, we look at the bootloader, and you see several bootloaders. I choose for I will write it down, Camelion. V2 RC5 Got it? In bootloader options I did not select 32 boot 32 bit boot because that one is not selected I did select graphics enabler and Ethernet of course that will detect the Ethernet card in the machine in um, the rest is all selected you should not touch that RTC is selected I choose for the Goops kernel Goops then 3 0 that's the one that I choose this one here of course the anthem kernel you should not select that one is not selected you can only select one of them um, everything that is not uh, selected you should not uh, select cause you see that it's selected here cause this is another installer that you see I'm showing you what I uh, selected to let this installation work on the Acer E machine E520. So this these settings are for the E machine 520. Might work on another machine, but in this case we're doing it on the 520. In drivers in main hardware, here you can see the main hardware drivers. You see AHCI SATA. Well, I did not select that one. I took the Intel SATA IDE that's what I chose because I was getting a problem before I installed it two times before and you know I was getting a problem at a certain moment the machine would just reboot and you know the installation would not finish successfully so today I finished it successfully so that's why I'm showing you here in sound you can uh, disable Fudu HDA because that one doesn't work the Apple HDA does work so up here you must select for sound Apple HDA both will be selected you can also leave it just like that not touch it um, for uh, the PS2 you must go for the Apple PS2 and not the Fudu PS2 okay so you go for the Apple PS2 CPU power management you go for Fudu P state Fudu P state oops let me write it a little bit good so in a uh, laptop you can select everything although I did not select card reader because I have no card reader in this thing and um, yeah that's that's what I did not select it I did not select a card reader but if you have a card reader well you can select it but this is then again for the E520 in VGA I did not select it anything but I did select a NV enabler so NV enabler and that is 
for the X3100 card that's in here and we also see a driver in here but if we select the driver it won't work okay so for the wireless you can select Ateros but the Ateros won't work it won't work so you must not select this driver you must not select any driver in wireless because uh, you must get um, the first driver that you see in Lion in the L2 that's the Ateros I forgot the number but you must look it up just google your your Ateros uh, Wi-Fi chip with Mac OS X86 and then you will find the name of the kex that you need and then you can install it and then it works like a charm uh, only reason why I uninstalled it again because um, I wanted to uh, make a video about Mint Linux and I installed Mint Linux and because I want to make a concept with Mint Linux so you know I needed a machine to you know to install I just did it to see if I could get it to work and then uh, of course in languages well I don't even see languages here uh, I think you could